So I normally start these videos off saying good morning, but you can tell outside it's pretty dark and it is 11 p.m. at night. But I've just got ready to go to work and I thought I'd start the video while I look presentable because it is going to be a very long day. I am headed to Washington. It's a 15 hour flight, which is very long and we should land, I think it's like 8 a.m. local time. But I did just wanna have a little honesty minute with you. I know this is like not even 30 seconds into the video, but I got this comment the other day and it was saying, it said something along the lines of, for a young person, I complain that I'm tired a lot. I've got a lot to unpack on that. One, it's my channel. I control the camera, I control the editing. I can put what I want in the video. And if I want to complain that I'm tired, I'm allowed to complain that I'm tired. Two, I travel international, which means I jump time zones, which means I'm constantly jet lagged. I'm going to be tired. You can do a three hour flight over land and you could be jet lagged. I'm going from one side to the other. Yeah, so I will be jet lagged and I will complain in this video that I'm tired. Just clearing up the air. And three, I don't care. <laughs> I am tired constantly and it's part of the job. The job, it's 11 o'clock at night and I'm getting ready to go to work. A lot of people in normal jobs are already asleep by now. And I'm not, I'm just starting my day. So if I complain that I'm tired a lot, I'm sorry, but I am. And I don't want this channel to be like a fake persona of how amazing cabin crew and being a flight attendant is like it's the truth i'm going to show you the good the bad and the ugly so hope that clears up the air i don't normally let comments get to me but that one really it really hit home on me i was like hmm i know i complain a lot but that's that's my life i am always tired always like i think statistics show that if you miss one night's sleep then you're never gonna catch it up xyz or whatever i'm not really sure but there is some studies on it and i miss a lot of night sleeps yeah i just wanted to put that in there now sorry that it started off in such a bad down note but i just had to get it off my chest and i didn't do it on my last one because I, don't, I just didn't want to, but it's been niggling away at me. So I thought I'd put it in now. But anyway, on a positive note, it is, like I said, 11 o'clock at night. I'm going to Washington. I've been before, and it was, I think, like three, four years ago. I went to like the White House and see the statues and everything. It was really good. Didn't film it, don't think. But I'm not sure what I'm gonna do when I get there. So normally most of the US flights that I do are always 48 hours, but this one's 24. And that might seem like a lot, but we land at eight in the morning and then we take off the next morning, which is not a lot of time to explore. But we're gonna see how we feel. If not, it's gonna be a very entertaining vlog, don't you worry, I will make sure it's, it's good. I've just finished packing I made myself a little salad. Who is she? <laughs> Healthy and all that. Uh, yeah, so I made myself a salad to take with me. Try to stop eating plain food. It's good, but if you're eating a cheese board and hummus every day, it's not that good for your waistline. Made a salad and it's big, so hopefully I'll be able to snack on it like throughout the flight, which is fine. And then I'll have something to eat on the flight before we land. It'll keep me going. I know the weather is like minus something according to what R says, like minimum is minus two or something. So I've got my winter coat, got my big boots just in case we do go out. But yeah, until then, I'm gonna head out. I've got about 20 minutes, 25 minutes before I need to leave, which is nice. So I'm just gonna finish packing up. I need to go brush my teeth, give this place a bit of a, bit of a spritz before I, I go. Enjoy this layover in Washington with me. Good morning. I'm saying morning again because it is 9.30 in the morning here, but it's 6.30 p.m. in Dubai. So I worked the whole day, 
And then I gained a day, which is great for jet lag. <laughs> I am very tired though. After me complaining before that I always complain that I'm tired. But I am tired, so I'm gonna have a sleep. And then I'm not actually sure what I'm gonna do. We're not near anything. We're next to the airport actually. And it's pretty far away from any tourist attractions. Plus it's cold. So I think it's gonna be a cozy one. But if you've followed this channel for a while, you know every time I come to the US, I have this obsession with ordering Taco Bell. And there's a Taco Bell right outside the hotel. And you know full well, I will be getting up, getting dressed, and going to order my body weight in food to come back and just eat because I am so excited for that. Until then, we will sleep. The room is actually really nice and spacious. I love hotels in America, they're very spacious. Right. I'll show you. The only thing that does annoy me is this. I don't like conjoining doors. So I'll put my suitcase here. It's over there at the minute while I unpack. But yeah, this is the room. Coffee station with an actual coffee machine. Also, English pet peeve is American hotels don't have kettles. I love a kettle. I'm English. <laughs> hey, back to the room tour. Bathroom. Let me turn the light on. Oh, there it is. With the dirty little bath. Yeah, bathroom. That's me. Oh, my ear's a mess. And then the beautiful bed, which I'm about to crawl into. I love a massive bed. I'm so excited. Oh, what's that? What is that? So it say? It says, wind down and rest up. Oh, can't do this with one hand. It's hard, harder than it looks. It is, is it gonna focus? Calming lavender mist. It's not gonna focus. These are heavenly. If you spray them on your pillow, it knocks you straight out. And a soothing face wipe. Oh, isn't that cute? It's really cute. Huge TV. And the view is, I think, a school. Just by the amount of buses. Yeah, and then there's like a, a football. American football. I don't really understand how sports works here. Uh, but yeah, I'm assuming that's a school. Hey, I'm gonna get undressed, get my hair down. I've had this bobby pin in my bun all day and it's like digging into my scalp. I think only a handful of people will understand the pain that that is and I can't wait to take it out. But I didn't want to take it out on the flight because it just takes too long to get it back in. I'm gonna go find that bobby pin and put it in the bin because it I swear it's giving me like a ball patch. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna go have a sleep and I'll speak to you in a bit. Wow. I am fully aware I look dead right now. But it's fine. It's a couple of hours later. I woke up at, I wanna say half two this afternoon. And then, I can't stop looking at myself. <laughs> so I woke up at like half two this afternoon and realized I hadn't edited this week's video which is going up tomorrow yeah so i've just sat here and done that and oh my god i died laughing so if you've not watched last week's video i'll put it up here i don't know which side it is go and watch it it's honestly it's so funny it's now four no five fourteen i'm still not that hungry though so i don't really want to go get food yet but i did just have like a brain memory so I remember I said at the start of this video I haven't been here for years. That's a lie. So the last flight I did before we got grounded with COVID back when it originally started was Washington. I remember because we couldn't leave the hotel and we had to wear masks for the first time and it was all really strange. And I just remember going to Wendy's because Wendy's is across the road as well. And I never go to Wendy's unless I'm here because I don't really like it, but it's close. So I think last time I was here was like two years ago. And then I landed back into Dubai. 
had my first ever COVID test. And then I got grounded because flights stopped flying. So that was what, March 2020? Yeah. I'll leave the video of like the catch up from when I first started filming. I'll leave that in the description box. So you can go check that out. Very cringy. Not unlike it is today, it's probably just a little bit more cringy. But yeah, like I said, I'm not really that hungry, so I don't really want to go for food yet. It's still light outside, but my thing is, as soon as it starts going dark, I won't go out. So I'm going to wait until, like, it starts going a little bit dark, and then I'll go get some food. And if I don't eat it straight away, it's fine. Yeah, I'm very scared of going out in the dark. Very scared. I think it's anywhere, though. Dubai is not as bad, because I live in a very touristy area so I don't feel as bad. Anywhere else in the world, if it's dark, I won't go out on my own. Uh-uh, no chance. This room as well. Oh, hold on. My room has finally warmed up, so I don't, um, it's quite embarrassing if I show you. Yeah. There's like a big air conditioning unit on the window, and when I walked in my room before, it was blasting ice cold air. And it's cold outside anyway, so it's only just getting warm now. And I actually feel like a crazy person because I slept in socks. Do you sleep in socks? I think that is so weird and baffling and so confusing. But let me know if you sleep in socks. <laughs> I am actually chatting rubbish right now. Also, before I actually disappear, I just went on to like, the YouTube studio. And I just hit 2,900 subscribers, so I'm so close to 3,000. It's like so cool. I never actually thought I'd actually get that many. That's insane, like considering I started this channel as just like a, a diary for like my family to see. And it's just grew and it's so nice, so thank you for everyone that has subscribed and watches and likes and comments. It actually really does all make a difference and it's really nice to see, so thank you. I always bring... Oh my god, the state of my face. <laughs> I always bring the cutest outfits when I don't go anywhere. I love dressing for like cold weather. I get to wear like my chunky boots. But it's time to go get some food. There it is. I literally had to walk from there. <laughs> I just realised I don't walk very straight, do I? Right. Let's go get the kids. <laughs> I honestly don't think I got enough food. I think I'm going to have to go get some more food. I panicked, basically. I panicked when I had to order my food. So I got one of the crunch wraps mm. and two taco things. And then I've seen these. I've never tried them before. Little thinner. Cinnabon bites. I'll let you know how they go, but I'm gonna eat this, see how I feel, and then maybe go get some more food. I'm just gonna come to the conclusion that this is my face today. We're just dealing with it. Yeah, um, eyes bigger than my stomach. I only had two of the hard wrap, can't remember what it's called. And I've still got this left, and I actually feel very full, which is surprising, because that was didn't look a lot, but wow. That was a lot. I did also buy one of these like wild strawberry things. This is so good. I really wish I got a bigger one. It's so nice. I thought, let's try this together. It's the Cinnab the Cinnabon Bite. Ooh, ooh. This is what it looks like. I don't know if it's gonna focus, but it's like a little, it feels like like a donut. That's what it feels like. Right, let's try it. Cheers. Mmm. Oh my god. Pure sugar. But it's still warm inside. Oh. Why have I never had that before? Oh, that is so good. It was one of the girls on the flight recommended it. She always gets loads of them because you can buy a big box of them or whatever. But I only bought two. And I think it was like one dollar something. Oh wow. That is highly, highly recommend if you've not tried it. Wow. Mmm. 
Pure sugar. Wow. I'm gonna eat the second one and carry on watching. What am I watching? I'm watching these guys on YouTube. It's called Sorted Food, based in London. And I've just become recently obsessed with watching like cooking programs. I think it's just to get ideas to cook. I find it really hard to like cook and get ideas. But this is really helpful actually. Um, yeah, so that is gonna be tonight done. I will catch you bright and early in the morning to head back to Dubai. Did you ever stop and think why I spend too much time just getting ready? Let me be honest. I don't know a single thing that I haven't done to make you notice me. My heart starts racing, but I don't know if I like this chasing and playing and waiting around. It's a shame that my hands start shaking all of the time when you're around me. But this time, okay, as you can tell, I'm dressed. I'm going back to the bar. Woohoo! Uh, it's gonna be like 15 hours, give or take, but we land back at 8 a.m., so it's technically. A night flight for me, but it is 8 a.m. here. So it's gonna be a day flight. Mm -hmm. Anyway, I've packed up. I've got an extra Taco Bell crunch wrap in my bag for my lunch. Didn't end up eating it. That is gonna be it. Hopefully this video wasn't too bad or too complainy. I will see you for the next one, which will be, fingers crossed, all goes to plan a week with my sister she's heading over on friday when i'm filming this hopefully all goes to plan and i get to spend a week with her and film it all for you so until then i'll see you soon mm -hmm.